it happened to one of my my older boys, um, uh, where I was um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Uh, this is before I had really any understanding of what was going on, and we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if if he. That didn't. was a that was a lie right from the outset. Incredibly evil, and I agree with you that the people that have been promoting this should go to prison. That's so personal. I was. Uh, Hey guys, my name is Devori Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to be responding to Elon Musk. He just sat down for an interview with Dr. Jordan Peterson. Um, I think Elon Musk is one of the greatest minds in the world. I think uh, it's a blessing that we have someone like him in this world that thinks the way that he does. I think it's great that he purchased Twitter and has allowed free speech to be a realistic thing to strive for on a social media platform and so there's a lot of great things that i i love about elon uh you know i i'd probably be first in line to truly support whatever he wants to do especially with going to mars etc etc but what i am doing this video for today is to talk about this big issue that has been happening increasingly over the past five years especially since COVID took place and that is this idea that young children should take puberty blockers. And in some cases, they're not even allowing the parents to be a part of the decision making process. So this is what I want to get into today, because I tell you guys this all the time. Mindset is everything. Now, before I go any further, you know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. Let's play the video. If you that was a that was a lie right from the outset. Incredibly evil, and I agree with you that the people that have been promoting this should go to prison. That's so I was connection. I was tricked into doing this. Um, now, if you're not catching on to, because obviously this is a clip, the, the interview is an hour and a half long or something like that. So let me at least kind of give you some context here. So he he's talking about his son Xavier, and that he Elon Musk was tricked into allowing his son to take puberty blockers, not actually knowing what the risks are, like what will actually happen to him. And he said that he felt tricked because they used fear uh, in a way to get him to agree, which was that if your son does not take these, your son will end up committing suicide. But there's, there's zero studies or data to support that claim. And so what you're listening to is around that context, okay? And, uh, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so, um, anyway. I, I know, I'm sorry I have to stop this, but this is a very important thing. Uh, and this actually relates to a larger issue with pharmaceuticals that the symptoms, the risks that are involved are not always communicated effectively. They're kind of like an afterthought. Um, and in the case of this, the symptoms are absolutely, I think, um, serious because they are irreversible. So meaning that if you were to take these, you will pretty much sterilize yourself. Like if you're a boy, your sperm will be sterilized. Now, Let's say you do this, and then when you're 18, you're like, you know what, I want to go back to being a boy, and then I want to be able to have kids. That's not going to happen. And that's where the discussion is at. Why would we allow children to be subjected to this if, if there's other things that we don't allow them to be subjected to, right? These are decisions that's being made that in some cases are irreversible, so wouldn't it make wouldn't it be a healthy compromise to just wait till they're 18 and if they want to do it it's their body it's their life they're an adult legally they can do whatever they want but as children they don't have any awareness right they they don't have any life experience they don't know the outcomes like that so that that's the point that he's making right uh, and so 
I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. Killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah, I, I want to say this as someone who has been coaching people on mindset and mental performance. I'm going to tell you right now, the one true way to get someone to win or get someone to lose, to get someone to live or get someone to die is right in here because that's where it always starts. It doesn't start on the outside. It does not start on the outside. It starts on the inside. And all it takes is someone to repeatedly place a negative idea into your mind and through repetition, you will start to believe it. Now, if you don't want to take my word for, for it, let me read you something here. So I'm going to read this to you guys. This is from Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. Okay, this book right here. I've read this book so many times, more times than I can actually count. And he's got this chapter called Faith. And in this chapter, he has this paragraph. It describes exactly what is happening in our society and why what Elon Musk says, the woke mind virus is a virus because how does it become a virus? It happens this way. It is a well-known fact that a person comes finally to believe whatever they repeat to themselves, whether the statement be true or false. If a person repeats a lie over and over and over again, they will eventually accept this lie as truth. Moreover, they will believe it to be the absolute truth. Every person is who they are because of the dominating thoughts which they permit to occupy their mind. And this is what he's speaking to. During COVID, if you did not notice, right now it's happening every single day. The news, the media, people, people on social media, your friends, your family, they keep repeating negative things to you. If you continue to allow that to live rent-free in your mind, you will accept it as truth. And it doesn't take much, especially if it's an idea that triggers fear. And one of the biggest fears a person could have is the fear of their own child, right? It's just a fear that you cannot explain. So when someone's saying something about your kid, you're absolutely emotion. Your mind is wide open. And whenever they keep telling you, you're more, you're, you're more likely to believe it especially when there's nothing else to go on at that time, because this has never really happened in history, you're more likely to believe it. And they've been repeating that it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And now we're finding out that's not necessarily the truth. But I had to read that to you guys. Let's continue. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and there's lots can, of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty. And lots of demolished kids. Yes. So, yeah, well, that's a good that's a good reason to be the final straw. All right, so let's. So I vowed to destroy the mind, the woke mind virus after that. <laughs> and we're making some progress. Join the club. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I, I mean, <laughs> I I really hope that if you're watching this, you are one of those people that believe the same thing, uh, which is that people need to be given all the facts. We need to stop trying to program and pressure people into doing things that are risky. Giving puberty blockers to children is not something that should be crammed down people's throats. It's also something that should not be um, getting the government involved and forcing parents to adhere to it. Um, it's something that belongs in the home. It, it's a conversation between the parent and the child. And if the parent doesn't want to do it, that's great. And I'm of the camp that children should not be allowed to even take stuff like that. Unless they are dealing with cancer or a life or death situation, they should not be exposed to things like that. And here's the other thing before I wrap this up. Who is giving these kids the idea to do this in the first place? Because remember, you, you, you don't come up as, as a child. You don't just wake up one day and say, you know what? I'm a boy or I'm a girl or I don't know what I am. No, you wake up one day thinking that way because when you went to school yesterday, you read a book talking about it. 
or you went to school yesterday and Jamie over here told you, hey, my, my name is no longer Jamie, it's John now. These kids do not make up these ideas. They are exposed to these ideas. That's why it's a virus. They're exposed to a virus. They're exposed to this negative thing and they're exposed to too many ideas. They're, think about this. Children are exposed to stuff that we were never exposed to as children. We were not reading the same books. We did not see the same information. The internet did not exist at that time in the way that it does today. The only reason why kids are doing this today is because they are being exposed to these ideas. They don't come up with these ideas. They are exposed to it just like the language they speak. Kids do not come up with their language. They are taught the language. They are exposed to the language. They see someone speaking it. They hear someone speaking it. They start to learn to speak it. That's why they speak that language, which in America is English. So the only reason why people are thinking that they're, they're not a girl or a boy or they could be whatever they want is because that's what people are telling them. The people are usually teachers, usually the Internet. And in some cases, the parents are saying this stuff. But we're doing this without actually doing proper research and studies. Study is not, hey, let's see what happens in two years. Study would be a 10-year study of someone who did this to themselves. And the studies we have right now are showing that more often than not, people regret doing that. Again, you can call yourself whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can cut off whatever you want. But just do it after you turn 18, right? When you can think for yourself and make your own decisions. So that's my mindset about this. What is yours? What do you think about uh, what I read from Think and Grow Rich? What do you think about uh, Elon Musk's reaction uh, and saying that, you know, he wants to just get rid of this whole woke mind virus thing that's going around. Um, and this is just one areas of that, right? We're, we're just talking about puberty blockers. We're not talking about the whole uh, trans things and things they teach in school and, and all the other topics that we can absolutely get into. But what do you think about all this? Why don't you share your answers and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you guys in the next one.